This is Classic FM. So, Joseph, Amore, here we are, the new album. Um, I've listened to it. I even, I have to admit, I've written the liner notes, so I've been familiar with this project from beginning to end. 19 favourite uh, songs. How did you come to pick them? We sat down and said, um, let's make uh, the new album. And, of course, an option was... Uh, a Verdi album celebrating the bicentenary like so many artists are doing. The problem with that was that um, I have done all the Verdi I can sing already on yes. my previous albums. So uh, the only option I had was to record something else or to um, do stuff now for which my voice is not ready. That is Otello, Aida, Forza del Destino, Attila, etc. Et Things that I would record much better in eight to ten years. So, I, so, so we said um, be My Love was a success, and um, I said, why not make another album of uh, popular songs, throw in some stuff which is not so well known, and marry everything in one, into, one, into one program. And um, I think that this is the result, uh, of which I'm, I'm very happy as well, because I sing in six languages, so I had to um, go to Russian coach. And, for example, I discovered that Russian is really easy to sing uh, for an Italian speaker. I, I couldn't believe it, but when I went to the Russian coach, uh, she told me, why did you come to me? You, you had only one consonant, this now, which has to be harsher. The, the rest is absolutely um, um, good. Because you're singing six languages yeah. on this album, but then you're obviously fluent in English, as we can hear. Mum's Italian, so you're fluent in mm -hmm. Italian. Fluent in also French and Spanish? Um, Spanish I speak a little bit, French um, not as not as fluent as my Maltese English or Italian, but I, I am, you know, my, I, I pretty much can, can hold a very good conversation. And it's a great help for a singer, of course, because to have linguistic skills facilitates the, not just the ability, to, the diction, but also the ability to sing the line properly, doesn't in, it? In, in my case, um, I've been spoiled because I was born in Malta. Malta is a very small place. Um, so you have to speak languages to communicate. We, we're not the UK, we're not, we're not America. Uh, it's a country which is an island which is 19 miles long, that's it. And uh, so uh, one of our assets we have to have is, is languages. So then I was also lucky that I come from a family that um, loves to travel, loves new things, and of course languages, new languages are new things. And then starting so early with opera at the age of 19, traveling abroad, mm. um, I, I picked up languages, I fairly reinforced what I already knew, etc. Now, when we look at the track list on this uh, disc, you've got Matinata, of course, written for Caruso, mm -hmm. just to uh, show off the new recording techniques. What this is, is a lot of stuff that will actually allow you to break out from, you know, the wonderful people who pay £200 or the equivalent to sit in the best seats in an opera house, but that's not really the audience you're totally after, is it? I mean, I, I want to take care of the audience and I take um, care of that side of the audience pretty much um, all my life, 10, 11 months out of each and every year by seeing live performances, doing operas. Of course, I did already completely operatic recital this. But this is um, indeed um, an album to show to the other side, um, to the potential audience of opera, that listen, um, an operatic voice is not boring. Um, Verdi, Puccini, um, Masne, uh, uh, Guno, Bize are not the only composers mm. that, that a voice can do justice to. We can also do justice to modern music, to songs from, from Morricone, for example, and, and even a song like La Vie en Rose of Edith Piaf. And I, I'm very happy and proud, actually, of, of that particular track in the album because I managed a lightness there that, uh, without changing my, mm. my vocal uh, position and impostation, I mentioned lightness that um, probably will, will surprise a, a, a few people. Now on Saturday I'm playing on my new releases show, 9 o'clock on uh, Classic FM Caruso, because that's always been a favourite of mine, okay. ever since I heard it drifting out of a jeweller's shop in Ravello. <laughs> uh, I knew it was Pavarotti, I didn't know what the song was, and it's always been a favourite of mine. And I think Lucio Dalla was someone you knew, and in fact he appeared at a concert with you just a, a short while before he died. He was one of my guests, and fate has it that um, indeed my concert in Malta, uh, for which he was a guest, was one of his uh, last shows ever. And he had an amazingly long career. Um, in Italy he's considered a god, a legend. Mm. Um, a great author of, of music and um, 
I, I really feel blessed and honored that one of his last collaborations um, had to be with me. Now, of the 19 tracks on this, for those who might want to sample the album, might want to download a track or two, pick a couple of favorites. A couple of favorites. Definitely Caruso, you just yeah. mentioned it. Which is um, track four, yeah. Um, for, for the beginners, let's, let, let's put it this way. For the beginners, I would definitely say um, Caruso, um, Time to Say Goodbye, La Vie en Rose. Th yes. that's, that's a really nice sample. For the, for the people who um, um, know opera well and, and want to s discover some, s something that tenors don't really record much, um, Vagissima Sembianza. Um, and Niet Tol Katot Toznal, the Tchaikovsky song, um, and Ideale. These, these are, I think there's Rondon and Lido as well. These are, these are really tracks that are not that recorded that much. And a special reason to love this album, every single note of your contribution was made in Malta. It was made in Malta. It was the first time that we recorded the album, an album in, in Malta. And um, let me tell you, the Zekka producers were fighting over this job because right in front of the recording studio uh, they had a, an, an amazingly beautiful quiet beach just, just steps away from the studio and the weather was great and um, it is indeed um, Mediterranean um, songs and tones produced and bottled in, in Malta. Malta. <laughs> so there we are, Amore Decca, the man himself. I hope it'll be a great success, Joseph. Thank Thanks you so for much, being Jesus. with us. Thank you so much. This is Classic FM.